what up? This KC, the Red Pill Alpha, back at you fellas again. Y'all know what it is. We knocked the doughs down with this shit. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin, to the back of her motherfucking neck, submerging her, holding her down literally with this game. And I mean literally with this game, literally. Please like, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done with this shit, it's going to be piping hot. Coming down through your phone, straight to your ear. All candy, ear candy. I know what it is. Game. That's what the ear candy is, man. It's that game. <laughs> Get at me if you got any comments on YouTube. Get at me if you got any comments at my email, realreal81 at yahoo.com. That's R E L L R E L L 81 at yahoo.com. Holler at me. I'm here. I'm all ears. <clears throat> if she really loves you, man, like she say, <sighs> tell her to spend some money. Show some actions. Let's talk about it. Oh, yeah. Get my little tablet, my little phone tablet thing. Write my, jot down my um topics, little notes and shit. So we're going to get into it. But if she really love you, bro, if she really love you, fam, if she really love you, fellas, if she really love you, pimping, players, whatever you want to be called, gang, gang, G, <laughs> whatever you want to be called, tell her to spend some money. True access is shown by her spending her hard-earned money. Get it? You get it? Hard-earned money. Don't think otherwise or don't let anybody else tell you why. You don't have these simp-ass OGs out here, them suckers, telling you something different. This is real game. If she really love you, like she say, tell the kids, quit spitting that shit through their mouth. Spin that shit out of her motherfucking hand. Let's talk about it. Let's jump right into it. You give her money, right? You know you fellas do. Some of you fellas do. Some of you fellas continue doing. Some of you fellas have done it. I have done it. Do I do it now? Am I continue doing it? No, but I have done it. I'm no better than none of you fellas. I have done it. I took my money and I gave it to the quote-unquote so-called love of my life. Paying her bills, car insurance, uh, shit, uh, rent, mortgage, etc. I did it. I done that thing. I done that shit. Whether I was hustling for the money or whether I worked a job for the money, I bust my ass. It's my money. I earned that money. I didn't rob nobody for that money. I didn't take it. I didn't manipulate no one out of it, nor did I con anyone out of that money. I worked hard for that. I hustled hard for that money. And I looked out for my one. Thought I was doing a good thing. You got to remember this. When you're giving your money to a woman, you are investing into her. How are you looking at it? It's an investment. But if you want to think about it, we all know that you will never get the return on no human being. Not your friend. Not your children. Not your mother, father, family mem members, or any chick you ever deal with. You will never, you will never get the return that you put into them. You'll never get it. It's impossible. We know that. I already spoke on that. And in the future, we definitely gonna get more into it. However, when she leave you, or she decide to cut it off, take a break, run off, or do whatever she do, it's gonna eat you up. It's gonna eat your heart up, man, because you. Invested into her. You gave her money. You was deceived by love. And you felt and you thought. Not only that you felt that you thought. You was taught. You was given the game by them suckers. This is how you pamper your woman. This is how you spoil your woman. Not knowing that when you're giving your money, you're giving your heart. That's the key word. You're giving your heart. And when you're giving in your heart into this woman, you're giving your money. You're not just giving no money, throwing it away. Ain't no motherfucker around here, Donald Trump, Puff Daddy, and Bill Gates, or, you know. We not none of them people. We not rich. We not billionaires. We not hundred millionaires. We we not even we not some of us not even thousandaires. Some of us not even a hundred there. We still working at desk jobs and busting our hands at these um, factories, industries, and corporate. I mean, you know what it is. So you work hard for your shit. You give your money to your woman. You look out for your money, your woman. You are supporting her. You're giving your heart into her. So, of course, when she run off and leave, it's going to be hard on you. 
you're going to eat it up emotionally. It's going to take its toll. It's going to break you down. Some fellas lost hair. <laughs> some fellas committed suicide. Some fellas went out and done shit. You know, some fellas try to do shit to her. I mean, many and various different ways that you can react to your emotions and your feelings. Because you gave to that person. You felt that that person deceived you. You felt that that person um, betrayed you. You felt that person said, fuck you, spit in your face, took everything that you've given them, and went to go take it to the next person, which we know they have done that, which we know they do do that. That's, that's what the hell goes on. That's why in a lot of cases, when these women dump you and they run off, they know it's going to kill you. Because you was that that financial supporter. You was giving to her. And women know that if you give to them, you're not just giving out of your pockets. You're bringing it from the heart. You're bringing it from the mind. From the mind, you know, you're bringing it from your thoughts. Knowing or thinking. Knowing or even thinking that you know that she's going to be with you. She's going to be down. She's going to hold you down just as well. You don't know this though. But you think this because she's receiving with a smile. With her ass tooted up, opening up them legs, dropping to her knees, giving you everything. So you're figuring that I got that one. Not knowing that deep down in her head, she know that she ain't gave you not even a fraction of what you what you gave. So if you was to say, fuck her, I'm out. Deuces. Yeah, it'll touch her. If you got bitches. If you got, especially if you got bitches that look better than her. Or if you got a woman that looks better than her and you dumped her for her. It'll touch her in that way. But if you dumped her because she's using you, you dumped her because she cheated, you dumped her because she's scandalous, you dumped her because she doesn't fit into this relationship that y'all have, y'all thought that y'all can, you know, build together, whatever, and you threw her to the side, it's not going to hurt her. Because she didn't do as much as you did financially. Some women think like that, bro. If they ain't gave you the money, if they ain't worked hard, they go to work hard like a mother. They go to them desk jobs. They don't create. They, they, they work. They do not create and build like men do. Let's keep it real. They go to work, sit at their desk, fraternize and, and flirting with other guys and fucking around with their friends and shit. That's what they do all day. Collect their little money, they little, they little stifling, they little incentives or whatever. And they go spend their shit up. They don't got no savings. Women don't be saving like, no. And we're going to get into that too on another topic. But they gonna spend their shit up on whatever they want to spend it up on. She ain't came and did nothing for you. She took her money and did what the fuck she wanted to do with it. But on the flip side of that, you putting your money into her. She knows she ain't got no investments into you. So nigga, get the fuck out of here. That's how she's looking at you once you bounce out. Unless you bouncing out with somebody better than her. And that person that looks better than her is treating you better than how she treated you. Oh, that really a crusher then. But if you just bouncing out because of the shit she did, she looking at it like, okay, bye. I ain't lost shit. And she hasn't because she ain't put nothing to you. She ain't gave you no bread. She ain't looked out for you. She ain't bought you shit. She ain't did a fraction of the shit that you done for her. She knows that. She knows that, man. So if you want to, so if you're the fellas or if you, the, you, you whoever you are that's watching this, if you want to Put a woman to the test and see if she loves you. See if she really deeply love you like she say she do. That motherfucking duck mouth quack a whole lot. That's just talk, man. But if you want to put her to the test, see if she'll spend some money. See if she'll give you some money. And these are my fellas that's in a relationship or just getting into that relationship. Or the fellas that's dealing with a woman that do a lot of talking. You got women out here that'll tell you what they will do for you but don't show you shit. And they will deceive you for a very long time with what they saying. And then how they will deceive you with that is through that sex, through that quality time, through that ear candy that she's giving you, that game on that phone. That's how she's deceiving you. Got you thinking that you got a great one. You got somebody that will hold you down, that will have your back. No, you don't, man. You just got a woman that know how to play her part and she know how to run a game to get what she can get. And that's what they do. They know how to run a game to get what they get, pimp. That's 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 how these women are, man. You know, real shit, man. Once you learn how to accept their nature, then you'll look at them just the way I look at them. 
a straight up fuck and ditch. I'm keeping it real. Until I find that motherfucker that matches me equivalently, then I'm going to the grave like this, bro. Because I know how they are. I know what they stand for. And they stand for utilizing you if you allow them to do that. So if you want her to show you that she love you like she say she do, because they, they do a lot of talking, man. They'll show a lot of love with the sex. But that fades away. Sex is natural. We know talk is cheap. Just broke that natural and talk is cheap. That's all you're getting out of that. If she spend that money, that's where you can touch her at. You touch her motherfucking heart by telling her to spend that money. She putting aside a bill. Going to go get you what you want, what you want or what you need. She putting aside them car payments, them mortgages. She telling son and daughter they hold off for this week or two, this month, on what you need on them clothes and shoes, whatever. I'm going to do this for him because I know he got me. That's when you know you got you somebody that you can uh, probably hold on to. And whatever blossoms from that, blossoms from that. You know? Somebody going to put their shit to the side and bring forth what they got for you. That's love, bro. Other than that, love do not exist. Get it through your fucking head. It don't exist. Once again, if she don't spend money, something she worked hard for, blood, sweat, and fucking tears. If she ain't put out that blood, sweat, and tears to bring in that bag and she's Pushing that motherfucker over to you. And she just talking. It's just talk. Enjoy the time while you got the time. Let her go. And if she run off, let her run off. It's no different from the next chick that's going to come and do the same shit, man. Let them go. Keep the shit like an assembly line. Yeah. Tell her to spend money. Holler at me.